Hello there, let's talk today about Hike Vision camera motion detection settings. I have a Hike Vision camera here connected to my switch and the computer is connected to the same switch. So I have the image here on my web browser. So let's start learning how to set up for motion detection, okay? So the first thing that you have to check is that you have your SD card here on the camera ready to record because if you're recording into the camera, you need to set up the SD card, SD card first, right? So here on the camera, I have this slot when I can open and insert my SD card. So it's already there, it's already working, right? So make sure you have yours and then you start setting up other things, right? One important thing for the recording part is to have the correct name of the camera. As you can see, I have the camera's name here. So I know which camera I'm is recording, right? And also here I have the date and time. You need to set up the date and time correctly. So when you look for the video, you have the video there based on date and, and time. So it's very, very important. So here in the web browser, you just come here to the configuration and then you come to system and system settings and here you have the time settings here for example I have my time zone correct for me here is easter time us and canada and i have the menu time sync what i usually do is just come here checks this this box this box to sync with the computer time when i hit save the camera syncs with the computer and then i have the correct time for the camera you can also use ntp the network time protocol when you select here there's a server address then your camera is going to connect with the server and set the time correctly of course you need to have access to the internet right your camera needs to be connected to the internet here on network you need to come and set up everything here the ip address the subnet mask the default gateway and now dns server make sure your camera can communicate with the internet if you want to use here the settings for ntp time okay so make sure it's correct, everything here for your camera. Also here on image OSD settings, you can select the camera's uh, information that you're gonna have on the screen, name of the camera, for example, and everything else, and also just display what you want, right? So let me just refresh here because it's not working. Sometimes it doesn't work, you just need to refresh it. So here we go, I have the camera name. Let's say I want to change here the name for hike vision camera 01. Okay, that's better, right? And then I hit save. As long as I have the name here, I can change the position if I want to. And let me just leave here. And this information will, will be recorded on the image. Okay, so I have it here, ready to go. And now let's come to the storage part. Before set up the motion detection, you need to come here to the storage. Make sure that you have the card here on the storage management. Here, for example, I have the, my card. Here is the capacity, the capacity, free space, the status, it's normal, the type, the formatting type. Here, if you're using FAT32, for example, it's readable, uh, readable on a computer. So you can remove the card and read on a computer later if you want to. So it's pretty important to choose here the correct one. And then as long as you have everything correct here, then you come to the schedule settings. And here you have the option to record by event, okay? Which includes the motion detection, for example, analytics. So make sure you have here based on event from Monday to Sunday, zero to 24, every single day it's based here on event. Now it's time to come here to the event settings. And here you have basic events and smart event. Depending on the camera that you have, you have analytics on the camera, depending on the model, right? Basic events, motion detection, video tampering. When you block your camera, for example, you put your hand in front of your camera like this, you block the vision of your camera, that's tampering, right? And here on smart event, you have different analytics. You have scene change detection, face detection, intrusion detection, line crossing detection, unattended baggage detection, and also object remove detection, okay? Set up here to working to work every day, Monday to Sunday, zero to 24, meaning every day. And you can enable or not, depending if you want to set up this one, right? There is some extra 
things that you have to do here to set up here in those analytics, right? Right now, you're just using the basic event, which is motion. So you need to enable motion here and come here and select the area to record, right? You have some things here to set up area, army schedule and linkage. So first, starting with area, you select the area that you want. Let's let clear all area, for example, here and start over, right? If I want to detect uh, motion on this box only, I just select here, draw area and select this area to be detected, right? And then I hit save and I'm good to go with the area. So when there is motion here around the camera, let's say on the top here, for example, when I'm moving my hand, it's not going to detect because it's not into the area, right? So I need to move my hand here inside of this area so the camera is going to detect. That's the idea, right? And also there's the sensitivity. You can adjust here. If you go higher here, the camera is going to be more sensitive. If you go lower here, up to zero, that way the camera is not going to detect because there is no sensitivity here. So usually you come here to 60, it's a good one. And also select your area. Let me say, for example, I wanna draw another area here. I can just draw another one and another one. And then any area here that detects movement is going to trig trigger the recording, right? So let me just select all the area here and hit save. Now, everything that happens here, it doesn't matter if I have movement in front of the box or in the monitor or whatever, is going to detect the motion, okay? And something also important here is the arming schedule when your motion detection will work. Okay, so for Monday to Sunday, again, zero to 24, every single day. And here, the linkage method, also important. If you forget here, the camera is not going to record into the SD card. At first, it comes here unchecked. So we need to come here and check it, right? So when there is motion, because it's enabled there, the camera is going to upload to FTP site. If you configure the FTP, it's not our case here but it's also going to record into the memory card. That's what we, we, we want, right? Then you click here, you're good to go. I'm not sending email right now. You can set up that later if you want to, but I'm just enabling, enabling motion here and linkage method to record in the card, hit save. And now I'm good to go, okay? So now if I start making movement in front of the camera, like this, for example, okay? Let me just come back here to the area settings so we can see and I'm moving my hand in front of the camera. I have all the area there. So it's going to detect my hand. I can move this box a different position, for example. And then the camera is going to record all of this, okay? So later, you're, if you're ready to go, you come here back to live view, you see that you have your camera working and then you want to check the motion, right? Which are recorded there into the SD card. I have a problem here with the Google Chrome that doesn't show a playback menu. So a uh, workaround for this is to use Edge. So I have here Edge, okay? You see Edge has a, like a huge latency here. It's still showing I'm, my movement of the camera, okay? It's a huge latency here comparing to to Google Chrome, right? But I'm using as a workaround just to have a menu here uh, to check the playback. So at first it doesn't have the menu. I just open Edge, then I come here on the three dots, and then I select here Reload Internet Explorer mode. Then I just need to log into my camera again. Here we go. And now when it loads, you see that I have this playback option and also the latency is not that high anymore, okay? Now it's better. A little bit of latency, that's normal, but not that high. You see, I move my hand here, take a little bit of time to show there, but it's good enough, okay? And now I have this playback option. And then now I can see here, down here, when I have movement, I have here the colors to indicate when, where's their movement and also the time. Here I have the date, for example, today is 5, January 
5, okay, 2024. Then when I just click here, I can search, search for the this day, and then I select here what I want, okay? So here I have some detection. I can come here and increase the bar like this. Then I just click and hold my left but uh, the left button of the mouse and I move this, right? Then I move here and I let it go and then I hit play, okay? Now I see what's being played here at 11.31, today at 11.31, okay? Let me just move a little bit earlier where I did some movement there in front of the camera. Let's see if you can find some movement that I did before. But basically, when you set up the motion detection in the area is going to record everything that you do in front of your camera, okay? You see here the Hike Vision Camera 01. So it's recorded with the camera's name and also the time, right? Let me just move a little bit here and here. I'm just trying to find some movement here, but it's there somewhere, okay? Here we go. I found my hand while I was moving my hand in front of the camera. And then it's being recorded because I did the correct setup, okay? Moving the box and I'm ready to go, okay? So it's basically working. So that's the way you have to set up motion detection on, on your high vision camera. Just remember to insert the SD card, go to the settings, make sure the SD card is working there. And then you, you correct the date and time and also the name of the camera and also enable here uh, let me just come back here just to, re to recap. I just need to come to the basic events, enable the motion detection here, select your area, adjust the sensitivity, come here to the army schedule to make sure that uh, working every day, link to the recording, to the SD card. Okay, as long as you have the SD card here working on your storage, it's enabled and also it's recording by event. Okay, you need to check all of this to make sure that it's working for your camera, okay? So I hope you like this video, I hope it helps, okay? And if you like it, please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.